on to good morning good morning to all the people that are on the webinar as well so i'm in a bedroom at the moment um, at my friend's house in atherton so good morning to everyone that's watching i just have a quick look to see who's who's here good morning diane good morning marianne good morning christine lovely to have you here uh, so this morning, I'm in Atherton. We've just come back from, I've got it again. I'm so sorry for those that are on the webinar. You're dealing with the fact that I have a light above my head and look like I'm, um, I've got sunshine coming out of my head. <laughs> uh, so I'm actually uh, just went to Andara and to... Uh, in a hot springs over the week so I just enjoyed some time out west I think it is from where I am uh, good morning Christine it was lovely to catch up with you yesterday uh, Christine did a beautiful reading on me yesterday good morning Del good morning Diane good morning Beck lovely to have you all on so uh, yeah and congratulations to um, women of Light Movement for hitting the thousand women um, uh, members. It's so exciting to have so many women that are sharing in the same um, venture, right? The same experience. Good morning, Jackie. We've got a few people on here this morning. Um, so the same movement, the same expression, the same communication all of us choosing to share our light. And how do we do that? And still, good morning, Kate. Um, how do we share our light and still find our balance within, feel grounded, connected to ourselves and be connected with others without being powered over or feeling powerless or feeling that there's some sort of conflict? I'm just wondering if I can change my position so that I don't have the light in my face, on my face there. That's a little bit better. So how do you do that? How do you, uh, I'd love to get some feedback. How do you find yourself dealing with conflict in your life and still keeping your integrity, keeping um, your humbleness, being humble through that process still uh, being able to be empowered and self-generate your energy instead of feeling like uh, you take time for rituals. Excellent, Marianne. So when you're, um, when you're in a process where you're finding that you've got conflict in your life, it can be quite challenging to stay in your own space hold your boundaries and, and be connected to yourself and your own um, thought patterns, values, integrity. And sometimes when that conflict comes up, you have that process, you go through that process where uh, you even start questioning what those values are and what your um, integrity is and what, what you know, your... Um, morals are because sometimes they can be questioned right in the process of conflict so let me just see I'm going to put this up so I can see it on a, over here so humility and conflict can be challenging to find the balance and hold the two together and you have to ask yourself when you're in the middle of a process of there's some sort of conflict, some sort of rift, and that can be just from a space of communication, for example, that can be as small as someone saying something that you disagree with uh, and to something as severe as someone questioning who you are and pushing their boundaries onto you or their um, limitations onto you or their, you know, limiting beliefs or anything like that. Um, 
keeping your energy body close around you, your physical body. So true. So absolutely, Christine. So one of the, the uh, one of the first things is when I call it a bump in the system, right? So there's this bump in the system. You feel that there's a conflict happening and you can feel it, right? When you are self-aware and you're, you know, into your spiritual development or your personal development, you can feel when something's coming up, when something's not feeling quite right between you and another person or you and a group of people, depending on um, the situation. And so there's a bump in the system. And that's um, so true, Christine, right? The very first thing is you become more self-aware of yourself and your energy field. How do I feel? Where am I at the moment? Um, you know, like holding your space being aware of where your container is so that you are aware that, um, be, you know, to bring awareness is my energy being taken unconsciously or slippery, you know, it's like snaky energy. Um, if anyone has watched any of my information about the three powers, you know, um, power can be very slippery when it, it can be in a place where it's taking your energy and doing it so subtly that you're not even aware of it because language is a big thing, language and energy. So people use language sometimes um, to manipulate you, but they do it with a smile on their face, right? <laughs> and so it can be quite challenging uh, to, you know, it's, it's bringing more self-awareness. It's bringing more connection to yourself and going internally in okay how am I feeling where am I feeling this what's going on you know in, connecting to your body and your thoughts and so when you're in a place of uh, conflict with somebody else there's a few questions that you for your for you to ask yourself right One of them, and this is where the humility part comes in. Sometimes when you have a conversation going on, you it's, it's bringing awareness to who the person is in front of you. Is this something that I um, choose to explain about myself and who I am? and what I want to bring forth into the conversation. Is this something that I'm choosing? And where is it going to go if I do make that choice to express how I'm feeling or, or that I disagree or whatever it is that, that the conflict is, right? Um, is this something that I choose that's going to benefit myself, the person that's in front of me, and the you know, like maybe shift, a, you know, communication or consciousness in the other person uh, or even, and this is where my mind tends to wander off in so many different directions. That's number one. Let me get that first. So is this something, so first of all, hold yourself in your container, be aware, ah, there's a bump, a little bit of conflict here. I don't, I don't agree with that. Um, I, I saw it differently. Um, I choose to express myself this way, whatever it is that, that um, the conflict's about. So be aware of your body and how you're sitting and is the energy being taken from me? Is there power trying to pull me into powerless, right? Bring yourself into grounding that energy. So sometimes just taking a nice deep breath in and breathing out will help you stay in your body and not get caught up. Because energetically, when someone's doing that, they're pulling threads of your energy away from you. And so it's important to maintain that energy, right? So that's the very first thing. The second thing is to be aware of, how do I choose to respond to this? Now, this is if you do respond rather than react. If you've already reacted to it, you've already lost your power, your empowerment. You're already playing the game of duality. 
as soon as you react to something, then you're um, you're in power powerless. You're in that energy of power powerless, right? So when you pause and pause, pausing is very important. In fact, it was brought up last night, Chris, yesterday, Christine, wasn't it? In um, drumming, I went drumming yesterday for the first time. I've been hearing a lot about it, and it was so fun. Um, and we talked about the pause in the music, you know, when you're drumming, and um, and it made me think of because um, some lady actually spoke about how um, when you're in when you're acting or you're doing artwork or something like that, there's this pause, this creative pause. And I brought up that um, any form of communication, because art and music and drumming and you know acting, all those things is a form of communication, right? Creative communication. However, all communication when there's a pause, there's so much in that pause and we we don't give ourselves enough time to pause. It's okay to pause and process. To step back into your body and think about what it is that you choose to respond. How do you choose to respond to this, right? So getting back to the response. The response is, is it important to me to get my expression heard here? Am I going to share my wisdom, my thoughts, my values, my morals, my understanding of something? Am I going to share this? And if I choose to share this, how is that going to play out? Is it going to be, you know, who is the person in front of me that I'm sharing this with? Because the person in front of you makes a big difference. Are they open? to navigating and dancing in a community in a comfortable way with with um you know open intelligent emotionally intelligent conversation or are they still stuck in triggers and limiting beliefs where they feel they need to defend themselves if you were to speak what it is that you're going to speak so some people are not open enough um, and it's not that this is good or bad it's just different some people are not open enough to hear your understanding of something and so therefore will go into defence and show that they're right about whatever it is or that their, um, their values, their morals are, are, you know, of a higher value or whatever it might be, right? So sharing, there's in that pause, there's this moment of assessing, assessing, am I going to share this and why am I sharing it? Am I sharing it because my ego's got in the way and I'm defending myself? Is this what what why I'm um, why I am sharing it as well? Am I coming from power palace where I'm wanting to take over the conversation or or defend my right to say something or defend who I am or defend my family's status or whatever it might be? Be aware of, of why you're wanting to express your um, or partake in the conversation and the conflict as well, right? And it's, it's being aware of why because this is where the humility comes in. Do you have to be right? And that's the question you need to be asking yourself. Am I saying this because I um, am choosing to be right and I want to create my, you know, I need to be righteous, I need to um, power over this, I need to share my voice? Or are you okay just to be sitting? Uh, I'm glad you, you're aware, Christine. <laughs> um, are you aware of of who you are because you know when you are truly in your empowerment when you are truly in that space of knowing who you are and being really grounded in it you don't need to example that to anyone else you don't need to share that with anyone else if they're you know like they say in the bible don't throw pearls to swine thank you Irene I did see that um you don't need to, to get defensive. You don't need to, to be playing the game, feeling like you've got to fight the fight. 
you know who you are. And when you know who you are, you don't need anyone else to know who you are. You can sit in that space in your own right and sit with that and feel really comfortable with it. And, you know, so you the question is, do you need to be right? Or is it you want to be liked? Or is it you want to, you want to, um, you know, uh, you want to be seen, all of these things, you know, do you need something from this? Or are you okay just to sit and not get into the conflict and, and to, to come to that place where you've got that realisation that it doesn't matter what you say, this person is very um, uh, rigid in the way they think, they, they've got their own belief systems and who's to say who's right and wrong, right, by the way. When there's, a, when there's this beautiful dance and, and you can share who you are with somebody and they can share with you who they are and there's no competition and there's no conflict in it, it's so beautiful to find someone that's just as emotionally intelligent as you are and to be able to express that. It's such a joy and, and like enlivened, full, rich conversation. It's, it can be very rare. It can be very rare. <laughs> And that's okay. Some people just, you know, I remember um, years and years ago when I was um, in my 20s, I, I was staying with um, someone that was an older woman in my life uh, and she was she was always had to be right and always, you know, like on me about things. And I remember writing in my diary and I can't remember what it, the first bit was, but I do remember thinking that, you know, when, when someone is in that situation where they have to share their opinion as if it's black and white and that's the way it is, then when someone's in that space, they miss out on the richness that you can share with them. And that's okay. You don't have to um, push that on them. That's where humility comes in. When you can be in your integrity, in your own value system, in your own morals, in your own space, smile and let somebody else have a different opinion than you and allow them to have that and not go into the conflict just because you want to be right. That's where humility is. When you can sit and just allow space, nod and smile or whatever, maybe make the, the you know, depending on the conversation, make that take that moment to say actually I I disagree with that but that's okay you know like you know you don't have to agree with them so that you're doing the good girl thing or um, you know trying to get liked that sort of thing is okay to you know share and and if they want to hear your opinion then you know you, you give your opinion or whatever but um, it's being able to find that balance so finding your space being in your own container pausing why ask yourself the question why is it that I choose to um, be you know am I feeling defensive am I going to be the one that's playing the, the game why do I need to voice this opinion and sometimes sometimes it is that you do need to voice your opinion because there's there's more involved in it as well and that's getting a little bit more advanced I won't go into that but Sometimes you need to stand strong and be that, you know, um, lioness that's going to strike out and say, no, this is not right in my boundary circle, you know, like, so it's finding that balance for yourself. There's so much that this person can learn from you. <laughs> absolutely. So true. Or any, any of us, right, Christine? So um, it's absolutely so true that um, people miss out and, and, Sometimes it's that they just don't have the consciousness for it either. So um, so whoever's watching on Facebook, um, thank you. Good morning. And I hope you're having a wonderful Monday. Thank you for jumping on. If you're interested in uh, coming over and jumping over into the Zoom, uh, Irene will put the link in so that we all get the chance to um, to uh, be part of the visualisation and uh, and see what comes up because if you're on Facebook, you're going to miss out on the visualisation. So if you, you want to jump over 
and um, be part of that, then you get the replay, you get the um, mini PDF that we create with the little short um, summary, and you also get the visualization meditation thing as well. So if you'd like to, Irene will just put the link in. I think she's doing 10 things at once, but um, she'll put it in in a minute. And um, I will catch you all. Have a wonderful week. I will be on, on Wednesday for Wednesday Wisdom. And um, I'm back from doing, I've had this one week of doing nothing uh, and I'm back doing stuff now. So I'll be putting some photos on and doing some live interviews and all that sort of stuff as well. So you'll get to see it. And congratulations to Women of Light for being in the thousand plus um, movement and, and sharing your light. I'd love for you to contribute to the Facebook page as well because um, and, and share any wisdom that you've got. That would be awesome. Mwah. Take care, everyone, and we'll catch up soon. See ya. Let me just stop there.